hi and welcome to a new video. This time I want to show you 10 cool little Lightroom tricks you might not know. So let's get started right away. And first the most basic one. In order to be able to get finer adjustments on the right side panel of Lightroom, it's a good idea to increase the size of the panel. This will resize your image, but you will be able to do much more precise editing with the sliders on the left side panel, which will help you in the overall editing a lot. The second trick I want to show you is about removing all those dirty little sensor spots. Therefore, you probably use the spot removal tool, but a lot of people don't know you can visualize the spots actually by activating this little checkbox. And you can pretty much see what this thing does. And you can also adjust the strength of this visualization. And in order to get rid of those sensor spots, just as usual, you click on all those little dots. Another useful little tool is under the crop settings. Let's say you don't have an even horizon as in this image. So you just pick the straighten tool and drag a line over the horizon. And this tool will straighten your image automatically. The next trick will help you balance out the exposure. Let's say you want to increase the whites or decrease the blacks without getting over or underexposed areas in your image. You press your shift button and double click on the whites slider. And this will automatically increase the whites as much as possible without overexposure. Of course, this works for the blacks as well. Press the shift button and double click on the black slider and it will decrease the image without unexposing it. Similar to this, you can also press the alt button and click on the white slider and then drag it up. And as soon as there are overexposed areas in the image, it will get visible as Lightroom shows you those white little spots. And the same thing goes for the black slider. Alt click on it and the underexposed areas will be shown as black areas. Also another cool thing to use that alt click thing on is the sharpening. Let's say you want to sharpen your image and then you alt click on the masking slider and everything white in this picture will be sharpened later. Then let's jump into the local adjustments. If you want to, for example, apply some fake fog to your image, you can just use negative dehaze and this will add a nice layer of fog to your image. In this case, I have used the radial filter, but you can also do it with the brush tool. Actually, I think you can get more realistic results by using the brush tool, as you can adjust the area in a more flexible way. But keep in mind not to overdo it with the negative dehaze, as it will look unrealistic quite fast. Another cool trick for the local adjustments is the erase tool, which also a lot of people don't know about. You can see I have applied this gradiated filter for the sky area. And here I have added a lot of contrast and clarity, which will result in this ugly bright border around the tree on the right side. I can pretty easily get rid of it by going to the brush settings and click erase. And then I'm just brushing over this area. This way, of course, this area won't be affected by the gradiated filter I have just applied. For the next cool local adjustment trick, I have applied another gradient filter, which I have dropped over the sky part of the image. And let's say I want to get more structure in the clouds, so I'm applying a lot of clarity. And I maybe also want to add some saturation to this. The thing is, I don't want to have those settings over the bright areas of the sky. For that, Adobe has added a nice little feature recently, which is the luminance range mask. This kind of works like a luminance mask in Photoshop. Here you just select the luminance range, which later will be affected by the local adjustment filter. So for this example, I don't want the highlights to be affected. So I'm dropping the right hand slider of the range. And now you can see it only affects the darker areas. Then let's stay with the gradiated filters. Again, I have applied a gradiated filter for the sky part. Now I want to change the colors of the sky a little bit to make it warmer. I could go on and increase the temperature just a bit to make it warmer. Or I could also add a specific color, but sadly the setting for this is quite hidden. In fact, it's that little box all the way to the bottom of the gradiated filter settings. So I just click on that and to warm up this uh, sky area, I can add a specific warm color to this image. Okay, then enough of the local adjustments. One last trick I want to show you is located in the HSL settings panel. And it's about that little button on the left upper side in that panel. Let's say you want uh, just the color tones of the clouds in the sky. So I'm just clicking on that little button. 
then I'm clicking on the color I want to change and then I'm dragging the mouse down or up depending on what color tone I want. And also you can see in the panel how Lightroom is changing all the needed colors for that effect. You can not only do that with the hue but also with the saturation. So again I'm picking that little button, go to the color I want to increase the saturation for and just drag it up. And lastly, of course, it also works with the luminance. So let's say I want to decrease the blue color luminance. I'm going to the blue in the sky, click on it and drag the mouse down. And it will automatically decrease the blue luminance. All right, and those were the 10 Lightroom tricks I wanted to show you. I hope there was some new information for you in this video. And if you'd like to see more content like this, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much for watching this video.